Good morning. Welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Today is Monday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Bishop Whalen. This Mass is being offered for Lena Donigi. Please rise, brothers and sisters, and let us together sing number 751, the first verse of Sing Praise to the Lord, number 751. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin to work our way through the story of Abraham for the next two weeks in the first reading, we're mindful of that covenant relationship with God that defines who we are. We ask pardon for the times we have failed to live that covenant relationship for others. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai, his brother's son Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated, and the persons they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land as far as the sacred place at Shechem, by the terebinth of Moreh. The Canaanites were then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, to your descendants I will give this land. So Abram built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and Ai to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abram journeyed on by stages to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, Blessed the, the people, people the Lord, the Lord has, has chosen, chosen to be, to be his, his own. own. 
Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out against you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye. You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your own eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we begin two weeks of working our way through the book of Genesis. It goes on longer, but we work our way through the book of Genesis with Abraham. And it's the beginning of our understanding of that foundational covenant with God that we continue to live today. Not a contract. Contract's a business deal. Covenant involves an investment of self. And with the covenant with Abraham, there's three aspects to be on the watch for for the next two weeks. Land, descendants, and ongoing relationship. Land, it's a real co covenant. It's a real relationship. It's lived in the reality of our concrete lives. Descendants... It's not just about me and God, it's us and God, and it's passed on generation to generation. And the ongoing relationship means it isn't just when we're in here, but it's throughout the rest of the day. And each day's gospel in the next two weeks gives us the opportunity for a concrete way we let that covenant relationship come alive each day in the landed reality of our own lives as we seek to hand it on to others. And today is a tough one. It calls you and me to say, isn't it always the thing that I most complain about in others that I least like to see in myself? We stand and bring our needs to Almighty God. We pray first for the church, God's people, that we may be willing to live our covenant relationship with God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Cardinal Dolan, for all those who lead, guide, and serve in the church we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have no home, that as we hear of Abraham being given the gift of land, we pray for those who have no place to live and no one to care for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who need our prayers, those who rely on our prayers, and those who have no one to, to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Lina Dionigi, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. 
And finally, we pray for all those who have died. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, as we walk with Abram through his covenant relationship with you, help us to live that covenant for others. Hear our needs and answer them if they are in accord with your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice, yours and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one, open, one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so we join the angels and saints in the hymn of your praise. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them now into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn, brothers and sisters, is number 670, or Living Bread from Heaven.
Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We sing together our recessional hymn, number 645, the first verse of, of Bless the Lord, My Soul, 645. 